Yeah, hi, hello, and I welcome you for this AWS Solutions Architect Associate. Uh, this is a guided lab of module 4 I wish to demonstrate. So, this is module 4 is adding a compute layer. And yes, in module 4 guided lab, we have this introduction to uh, EC EFS, Elastic File System. So, I already started the lab and you can see this lab is also ready. You can see what all we are going to cover in this lab is like we will log on to console and we will create an EFS. We will also log on to uh, EC2 and then uh, which runs on uh, Elastic, I mean Amazon Linux. We will try to mount this uh, EC2 instance, examine and monitor the performance using your uh, system file system. So, this is the task which we need to do. So, we will be starting this task 1 creating a security group to access your file system. So, I just click this AWS, I just click this AWS where you can see your uh, uh, EC2 console also, ok. I will log on to EC2 console, yeah. So, the first step what he has asked is that we need to create a security group, ok, of EFS client. This group should something look like this, ok, group ID should be. So, what we need to do, what we need to do, security group of EFS client security group to your text reader. So, you can see this, uh, uh, where is the security groups. So, you have something EFS client which is there. Just copy this one, which is already created for you. Just copy this. Okay. Just the name, which ends with 4, 2, 1, something like that. 4 to 1 in your notepad or somewhere. I will say notepad. So, this is my security group. Uh, now, what you can do is that, ok. So, just copy that and choose the security group and configure this, uh, uh, I mean uh, uh, the same one, the group ID should be similar to that. Uh, create security group, uh, group name is EFS mount target, ok. So, I just say that create a security group, maybe I can say EFS mount target, this is the one, alright and NFS, right in description I can say uh, the in inbound NFS access from the clients. Okay. And VPC, select your uh, lab VPC, absolutely. And in inbound rules, we need to add a rule, I think. You see this one, add NFS rule and security group of that particular NFS client. So, I will add this NFS protocol, okay. Uh, you can say custom and say search this SG with ending 4 to 1, where is that or you can even copy paste that which we have copy pasted in our notepad. Yeah, this particular one EFS client, yeah you are allowing this EFS client and we are creating this, ok. So, that is all I think from custom, yes. Uh, security group ID we have pasted, create a security group, just say create security group, the security group is created. Going to the task 2, select this EFS create file system okay, and say uh, name is name my first EFS file system. So, here uh, you can search EFS elastic file system which also comes under block storage. Remember this file system can be used only by the Linux servers only, ok. Create a file system, the name is optional, but let us see what he has given the name, ok. Create file system, create file system window, uh, choose customize. Yeah, you can say customize and now once you choose this customize, uncheck enable automatic backups, 
yeah uncheck that this name is optional actually uh, life cycle management select none life cycle management ok this is already in none I am not specifying any life cycle rules uh, and in tags the name and value is so and so let us add tags encryption you can bursting tags so this is a tag name is name tag value is my first EFS file system I think we have done more or less we have selected everything remember to uncheck this automated backups so choose next and still more things are there this is actually we have about four steps say next we are going to do second step so select your VPC lab VPC yep and now here in your lab VPC after selection uh, detach the following security uh, default security group by into into mark attach EFS mount target security group to each availability group so the things which are there just default needs to be deleted and attach this particular one EFS client I think EFS mount target he has specified about that EFS mount target needs to be attached yeah here also same yeah and once this is done yeah EFS mount target selecting each security group you are choosing you should see something like this choose next next and step 4 just say create or the rest all are defaults yeah policy options leave it all defaults optional and review and create yes this is only the summary of what all we have suggested we have given and say create the file system yeah my first EFS file system is now created with 0 bytes remember it can go even up to 8 EB also yeah you can see this it is successful it is successful ok so this completes your uh, task number 2 so maybe in a minutes uh, 2 minutes time you should be able to get file systems to mount target right now let us uh, go to EC2 I will just duplicate this one and maybe what I say I go to EC2 ok in EC2 I connect to this uh, I mean session so this is all basically up to task 3 is only just uh, uh, connecting to your EC2 uh, Linux server uh, how I can do just say show and download the key in order to connect download your PPK ok this is mainly used for connecting your Linux server so in your EC2 in your EC2 just see which instance is running EFS client select your public IP and of course open your putty putty can be downloaded even from the uh, canvas ok just say run provide your public IP and also give your authentication code that is browse lab user just say open right so the default username is ec2 hyphen user so once you are done you can see the dollar prompt this completes your task number three now the task number four so here this is very very important and critical task we are trying to attach the efs using i mean ec2 console ec2 linux server so yeah we are already in efs choose my efs and say here attach you see this one view file system you can see here you can select this one and you say view file system yep and say uh, yeah you can select this and say attach ok this is how you got a code ok please copy sudo mount hyphen t nfs4 you are mounting using nfs with the entire url with all the options which is shown across to efs so for that you need to create first uh, what we call as uh, uh, EFS folder so if it is already created fine fantastic you can see whether EFS is uh, uh, 
available or not. Right, I have already logged into my server. If you say ls hyphen l, uh, there is nothing which is there. See the instructions. Use nfs client sudo fs to efs. Right, copy the entire. I have already copied. Uh, you can say that there are uh, still more steps which are there. Sudo df hyphen h. Let let me run. Sudo df hyphen h capital T. You should see the file systems. Currently, it is not mounted. Currently, it is not mounted. Okay. So what I do is that, yeah. In uh, examining, uh, see, uh, once uh, after doing this activity, uh, the step there is one step missing. We need to create a folder. Uh, you can say sudo mkdir uh, efs. Without this, your uh, what you have copied earlier, the URL from here. Where is that? this URL, just copy this one and paste it, it would not work, you need to do this command also, right and say, it should not throw any errors, it has not thrown and the verification is again df hyphen h capital T should show you the mount point, yeah, it is showing ADB, this is the mount point under EFS, so successfully you have attached the file system, successfully you have attached, let me see now the performance, so you should see the last line like this, examining the performance behavior of your new file system. So what you can do, uh, let us do this right performance of this particular one, uh, monitoring okay, services, go to CloudWatch and say metrics, maybe in instance you can say uh, CloudWatch, this is actually a monitoring resources, so what you need to do? Go to metrics, all metrics and choose EFS, file system metrics. So here metrics, all metrics, choose EFS, file system metrics, yeah. So here he asks us to uh, permitted through, uh, select the row that contains permitted through throughput. Scroll up, permitted throughput, just select this matrix. Okay, let us see anything else permitted throughput. Okay, on the graph, choose drag around the data line. See here. Yeah, you can see this. Uh, there is one matrix which has been collected here, which comes about 105 M. Okay, so now uh, I ran the FIO command. So let us do some activity. Pause the pointer of the data line of the graph. This should show 105 MB. Yes, it is done. Then uh, permitted throughput. Yeah. So select the checkbox. Select the checkbox. Data write IO bytes. See this one. Data write IO bytes. All metrics permitted throughput. All metrics. Uncheck the box permitted throughput. Okay, I uncheck the box. Yes. And then if you wish to see this one, use file system metrics to search find it. Uh, choose the graph metrics tab, graph metrics tab, yeah. Uh, statistics column, just say select sum. Okay, if you are unable to see this uh, matrix of data right IO bytes, what you can do is uh, uh, yeah, search to find it. So I write here, if I am able to, I will just press, 
did not match anything which is there. Choose graph matrix tab. Okay. Uh, statistics and sum. Did not match. I don't know why. You should see a graph like this for this particular activity. Okay. Data right IO bytes. You asked us to uncheck permitted throughput and select the checkbox data right IO bytes. So I, I do not see it here. Let me check this data. What did they say? Right IO bytes. Right IO bytes. Did not match. Okay, tags such as uh, visited instance are not supposed, not supported. So I think it's not supported. If it is supported, we could have seen that. Uh, pass your pointer and see all these graphs. The throughput that is available, uh, yeah, it is showing you all these things. Congratulations. Anyway, we could see that the file system is uh, mounted already onto our what we call as uh, Linux server. So this is called as Elastic File System across NFS. Right, once you have completed lab, yes, you can submit. Let me check submit. Uh, yes, only thing I could not see the last part of the parameter graph which is uh, uh, located. Yeah, let me also see the grades, yeah, it is calculating the grades. Yes, we could not see that uh, flexible IO was run that is 0 by 5 which is there, uh, the last part which is there, the graph. So this is the end of the lab, yes uh, let us meet again in a different lab of module 5. Thank you everyone and bye. So I say end lab. Yep. And bye.